Welcome to SOLIDWORKS. In this lesson, we will show you how to make an acoustic guitar and within this lesson uh, also how to add letters. Ok, let's start by opening a new part. Click on New Document icon from the standard toolbar, then open a new part. Select OK. Select top plane and open the sketch. Select center line tool. Okay. Then select the point tool and sketch point here, 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 okay. Now let's Select center line again. Let's mark the measure. Type 245 millimeters. Type forty three millimeters and three and a half. Let's drag this point here and also this point. All other points. Okay. Let's mark dimension at this point here. Type. Oops. Let's smart dimension from this point to this point. Fifty five point five millimeters. Okay.
Okay, now we have our points. Let's just move these two points a little bit down. Okay. Select zoom to fit. Okay. Now we have our points all defined. Now let's select the spline tool. And find origin and let's create spline through to all these points. Okay. Let's add tangent relationship. Select this line and hold control and select this axis and make tangent. Okay. Now our sketch is fully defined. Let's choose mirror entities tool. For entity to mirror select spline. For mirror about select this horizontal axis and select OK. OK. Now let's go to isometric view and exit the sketch. Go to the extrude pose base future and for depth type 45 millimeters and select OK. Now let's choose shell command. For shell thickness type 3 millimeters and select show preview. Then select OK. Oops, let's edit this future. Go to the left mouse click and edit future. Faces to remove. We need to select this face here. OK, now select OK. Now the shell command is complete. Let's open a new sketch on this face here. Select this face and select sketch. Go to normal tool view. Select right click on this edge and select tangency. Now go to convert entities tool. Select OK. Now go to isometric view and Exit the sketch. Go to extrude pose base tool. For the depth, type 3 millimeters. And select OK. Now let's open a new sketch this face and go to normal tool view. Select circle tool and make circle over right here. Let's smart measure this circle. Type 50 millimeters in diameter and let's Select this point and hold control and select this point here and add horizontal relationship. Relation. Let's my dimension to this point here. Okay, type 19 millimeters. Go to isometric view and exit the sketch. Go to extruded cut command. 
Okay, so we had select 30 millimeters. Select OK. Okay, let's open a new sketch here and go to normal to view. Okay, this new sketch, let's select. A line to draw a line. Okay. Now let's smart dimension this line. Type seventy five millimeters. Select point and find the midpoint of the line. Select this point and origin point and add horizontal relation. Now let's select this line to command again. Let's smart dimension this line. Type 5 millimeters. Now let's add a point right above here and let's smart dimension this point 15 millimeters. And let's use three point arc. Okay, three point arc. Let's do a smart dimension. Radius type ten millimeter radius. Okay. And let's my dimension this also ten millimeters. Okay. Now Let's mirror this. Choose center line tool and choose mirror entities. Mirror this line and this line. Mirror about this axis. OK. Now let's select a three point arc tool again. Select this point and this point. Okay, this point here. Let's mark the measure this arc and type to 16 millimeters. Okay. Now we need to smart dimension this. Type 50 millimeters from the center. The circle. Okay, now it's all good. Sketch is fully defined. Go to isometric view and edit the sketch. Go to extrude board base. For the depth type, type 4 millimeter. And select OK.
now we are going to add a spline right over this face. Select this face and open sketch. Go to normal to view and select the spline tool command. For the spline tool command, let's start about over here. Do this. Okay, let's end the spline right here. Okay, go to the futures and go to extrude base. For the depth type, type 0.1 millimeter and select OK. Let's edit this future a little bit. Let's move this point over here. Let's move this point over here a little bit. OK. Now look good. Select OK. Let's save this part. Go to File, Save as, Guitar, or Part, Guitar, and Save. Now let's add a new sketch on this face here. So a sketch. Let's add a corner rectangle. Let's match the engine. Let's select center line from here. Okay. And now let's right click on this line and select midpoint. And then select control and select this horizontal axis and select make coincident. Okay. Now let's match dimension. Select this point here and this line here and type 250 millimeters. Now let's match dimension this. Type 312 millimeters. Okay. Now let's select corner line tool again. Let's select this line here. Let's see this. Let's edit this dimension and type 30 millimeters. Okay. Then let's add a corner rectangle and let's make rectangle over here and let's mark dimension this rectangle and type. 50 millimeters and also here 50 millimeters. Okay. 
let's make collinear relation. And here type let's mark measure this ten millimeter. Okay. Now let's draw a line from here to here. Okay. And let's mark dimension for the angle type. 0 0.73 degrees okay let's mirror this line about this horizontal axis so it's okay let's check this dimension here 23.3 Good. Okay. Now let's make this line construction geometry. Find the construction geometry tool and select this line here. This line here. Okay. Go to line tool again. Select this line and over here. From this point to this point here. I think now the sketch is complete. And let's exit the sketch, go to the metric view and go to extrude board base. For the extruded base direction, select reverse. For the depth type 30 millimeters. Okay. Okay. Now let's let's open up in front plane. Let's open a new sketch. Set line tool. And draw a line. Let's mark dimension. Type 10 degrees. Go to Fusions tab and go to Extruded Cat. For the direction one and end condition. Select mid plane and select forty millimeters. Okay. Go to front view. Let's open a sketch on this face and select convert entities. Select this edge. Now let's exit this and go to the offset entities. For offset distance, type 10 millimeters and select this edge here, this edge here, and select OK. 
let's set it in line tool so right here self extend entities so let's extend this line okay now let's draw a line from here to over here okay let's mark dimension type 255 millimeters and for this one let's trim this line and let's mark dimension type exit and choose three point arc and choose this line here and this and here let's make an arc let's mark dimension this arc type 40 millimeters okay Now let's trim this line here. And let's smart dimension this line here. Okay, let's mark dimension this distance and type 12 millimeters. Let's add it 10. Okay, and for this, type 40 millimeters. Okay. Now the sketch is fully defined. Let's exit the sketch and go to the extruded cut tool. For the depth, type 40 millimeters and select OK. Oops. We didn't cut this part here. Let's edit this future. Go to edit future and select mid plane. For the distance, select 70 millimeters and select OK. Now the path is cut all, cut through all. OK. Now to go to the front view and go to rebuild and save. Now let's add some bosses right here.
select this face and open a new sketch. Go to normal to view and draw a central line. Let's mark the measure in the center line. These dimensions type 10 millimeters. And for from this point to this point type 15 millimeters and for the angle select 5 degrees and type 15 millimeters okay let's get a circle but before that let's draw a center line from this circle over here. Uh -huh. Let's add horizontal relationship. Okay. Let's draw a circle and smart dimension. For diameter, type 3 millimeter diameter. And let's smart dimension from this point and this center line. Let's type 11.25 millimeters okay let's go to isometric view and exit the sketch go to through those base future and for the depth type 3 millimeters and select OK. Now let's find a DOM future. If you don't have DOM future in here, go to the insert, futures, DOM. For DOM parameter, distance, select 1 millimeter, and for faces to DOM, select this top face of this boss and select elliptical down. Now select OK. Now go to the boss extrude 6 and select this catch and go to show. Now we can see our lines in previous catch we made. Okay. Now go to the linear pattern command and for direction select this line here. For the spacing select 4.5 millimeters. And for instances, select six instances. Okay. And futures to pattern, go to the future manager and select boss and DOM. And also for the direction, select direction ok now you have the preview and select ok let's go to repeal tool and save let's hide the sketch so sketch and then hide Now let's make sketch over here. Select this face and open sketch. Go to normal tool view and select 
corner rectangle. Let's find the measure this corner rectangle and type 2 millimeters. Let's select this edge, this line here, and this edge over here, holding control button and select make corner. Okay, now let's select a convert entities tool and select this edge and this edge. Okay. Let's say trim entities tool and let's trim this line. Yes. Yes. And this line and this line. Here. Let's mark the measuring again by selecting this line and this line here. Okay. Now the sketch is fully defined. Let's go to isometric view. And go to Futures tab and Extrude Boss Base. For Extrude Boss Base depth, select 2 mm depth. And select OK. Now let's open a sketch on this face here. Select this face and open a new sketch. Go to Normal to View. Let's draw a circle. Okay. Let's select the center points of every circle. Hold the control and select make horizontal. Let's mark the measure, select this circle and this here and type one and a half millimeter. And let's mark the measure this first circle, 0 0.6 millimeters. And second, 0 0.5 millimeters. And then Okay. Now let's smart dimension and type four millimeters in between. And now let's mark dimension this here. And type two millimeters. Let's check. Edit. Let's again check this. Okay. Let's delete this and let's go to center line. Draw a center line right here and then select this point. Hold control center line and select this point. Now select make symmetric. Okay, now the sketch is fully defined. Then go to rectangle and select. OK. 
Okay. Then this one. Okay, let's select trim entities tool and trim this and this line here. Trim this and this. Okay. Let's fully define a sketch. Select full full define sketch. Set calculate. And then select OK here and select OK. Let's exit the sketch. Go to the extruded cut to command and select the sketch. Order that select three millimeters. Select OK. Okay, this looks good. Let's rebuild our part and save. Now let's open a sketch on this face here. Sketch, go to normal tool view. Let's draw a circle. And let's draw a circle. Let's mark dimension. Type three millimeters. And let's select this point. Hold control and select this point here and go to make horizontal. Now let's select this circle and then hold control again and select these circles here and select make equal. Okay, let's find the measure first and type 15 millimeters. Let's type five millimeters. Okay. Go to isometric view and let's select center line. Select this line here, go to center line. Make sure the center line is in the horizontal relationship. Okay, go to normal to view and let's select these circles and go to mirror entities tool. For mirror about select the center line and select OK. Go to isometric view and let's click on future tab and go to extrude both base. For the extrude both base depth, type 5 millimeters and select OK. Now let's go to the other side and 
click on this page and open a new sketch. Go to normal 2D. Go to the hidden lines visible command. Okay. Now let's select corner rectangle. For the rectangle type, select center rectangle. Select this edge and find the center. Let's draw a rectangle. For the dimensions, smart dimension this side by 3.5 millimeters and also other side for 3.5 millimeters. And let's find the center again. Okay. Let's fix. Okay. Now let's sketch fillet. For the fillet, radius type 1 millimeter. And select this point, this point, this point, and this point. Select OK. Okay, now let's go to the Futures and go to extrude both base. For the depth type, select 3 mm and select OK. Go to the shaded with edges. Now let's add fillets. Fillet command select 1 mm. Select this face here. Select OK. Now let's make a new sketch on this face. Sketch. Normal to view. Go to the circle and find its center point. And let's smart dimension the circle. Diameter one millimeter. And let's select the point and make fixed. Okay. Go to future tab and to extrude both base. For the extrude both base parameter, depth select one point five millimeters. For and then select in future and select for the thickness 0 0.25 thickness and select reverse direction. For the draft angle, select 1 degrees and then select OK. Now it looks good. Okay, go to the reboot feature and save. Now let's go to this space and open a new sketch. Go to normal to view and select align from this center of this circle the center of this circle here select ok and exit the sketch go to linear pattern command for direction select this line for the spacing select 15 millimeters and for the number of instances select 3 instances Futures to pattern, select this future here. OK, and select OK. 
now go to the plane and select this face here and this face here from another side the plane is fully defined we find a mid plane select OK select the mirror command and select this face for mirror face plane for features to mirror select this feature this, this and also the linear pattern feature and select OK now we have our features pattern to another side ok, let's hide this plane select plane and then hide also let's hide this sketch here ok let's go to rebuild and save this part now our guitar is almost complete we only need to add strangles ok let's select this face here and open the sketch Go to normal tool view. Let's open find the sketch over here. And make it show. Sketch number six. Okay. Now let's convert entities. Select this this line and this line and also this line here select ok let's trim entities trim this line ok let's go to futures extrude both base command for the depth type 0.5 millimeters for direction select this type of direction Okay. And let's hide this sketch here. That looks good. Now let's select this face here and open a new sketch. Go to normal to view. Go to corner rectangle tool a rectangle right about here okay let's mark the measurements rectangle type two millimeters for the distance type 10 millimeter okay and for this Vertical dimension type 14 millimeters. Okay. Now let's go to the linear sketch pattern. For the x axis and type for the distance. Type 15 millimeters and, and select add spacing dimensions and for the spacing for the numbers select 9 ok then Let's enter this to pattern. Let's select this. Find this line, this line, and also this line here. And go to the reverse direction. Okay.
Sense and OK. Now, let's go to select this here and go to the copy entities. For, for parameters, select x, y, start point. For the x, select minus 10 millimeter and select OK. Now go to linear sketch pattern again and for the spacing select 12 millimeters and for the number opacity select 5 and at this pattern select this line here and go to the reverse direction. Select OK. Now let's again select copy entities. Let's deselect this and select this entities here and type minus 10 millimeters. And select OK. Let's select the skate then go to linear sketch pattern again and for the distance type 10 millimeters and number of instances type 6 ok and let's entities to pattern let's select this entities here Okay, let's reverse this direction again and select OK. Okay, that looks good. Now let's go to the Convert Entities tool and select this edge here and this edge here and select OK. Now go to Trim Entities tool and let's trim these lines. zoom and unzoom with your scroll on your mouse Okay, now let's trim this line here.
OK. Now let's select a construction geometry tool and make this construction geometry. OK, let's go to Futures and extrude both base. Apparently we didn't make all this line on construction geometry. So let's delete them. It's much easier. Now, okay. Now let's go to the metric view and go to the future step and go to extrude both base. And that's good. Type zero point five millimeters and select OK. Excellent. Now let's edit this future. Go to and open the sketch. Let's edit sketch. Go to number two view and let's add circle. Add circle right over here. And let's add circle right over here and right over here. Okay. Let's find the measure of the circles. Type 3 millimeters. Let's make this circle equal and this one also. And let's make the circle vertical. Okay. Let's draw a central line. And let's make this symmetrical. Let's type in here dimension. Type 12 millimeters. And let's make this over here. OK. Move it a little bit. OK. Now, let's copy this. Okay. To minus epsilon x. Minus 45 millimeters. Minus 46 millimeters. Minus 47 millimeters. Okay, that looks good. 
Okay, select. Okay. Now I do the sketch. This looks good. Now, let's see what is inside. Okay, we see this. Select this space here and open a sketch. Go to Convert Entities. Okay, go to Futures and Extrude Cut. And go to the Wireframe up to vertex select and for the vertex point select this point here select ok ok that looks good go to set shaded with edge and go to isometric view go to rebuild and save part Now, let's add some fillets in here, or we can add strangles first, okay, or wires. Let's open the sketch on this face here. Go to the circle and draw a circle over here. Let's mark dimension. Type 0 0.5 millimeters. 5 and 500 ok and there is the sketch now let's go to the view and set temporary axis select sketch tab and open a new 3d sketch now let's select point select this point here this axis then select point over here in the center and make it fix okay let's mark dimension this point on this axis and let's type three millimeters okay so go to center line and select this center of the circle here and select this point here okay now we have our sketch let's exit the sketch and go to the futures tab and go to the split pose base command we already have a 3d sketch selected if you don't have let's select this line for 3d sketch for the pad and for the profile select this circle here and select OK. This is our first part of the wire. OK, let's make it again. Go to this and set a sketch, circle. When you go to this edge here, you will see the center of the circle, select center and type let's mark dimension and type 0 0.45 millimeters okay, and edit the sketch. Go to the sketch and select 3D sketch.
set a point, set a point here, point here. Let's fix this point and let's plot the mesh. Let's do it and for another, for the rest. Okay, here, 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 here. Let's fix. Let's mark the measurement. Okay, let's edit the sketch. Now go to 3D sketch and select the line. Oops. No, let's use this 3D sketch. Select line and select this center. And select this center here. Okay. And let's go to the features and edit the sketch. Go to sweep both base. Command and select with both base. 3D sketch we already have and for the profile select this circle here. Select OK. Our 3D sketch is now visible. We can see all the points on the bosses. Yes. OK. Let's start by creating a new sketch over here. Let's mark the measure. 35 millimeters. Enter the sketch and go to the sketch and open a 3D sketch. Select the line. Select this point here. Okay, let's edit the sketch and go to futures and select sweep both base. Okay, let's do it for another side, or maybe we can do it, select this plane here and make it show. Go to the mirror command tool and select the mirror face plane here and the futures, select these futures here. Sweep, full preview, OK, geometry pattern, and select OK. Now we have our wires. Let's hide this plane. But let's delete this mirror command. Because the dimension of these wires are not the same if you want to play the guitar. Okay, let's go. Again, space and open sketch. Go to the circle. Smart dimension, 0 0.25 millimeters. And exit the sketch and go to the 3D sketch and draw a line. For the path, set this point here. Okay. Exit the sketch and go to futures, sweep both bases. 
select OK. Let's open a new sketch here. Let's mark the margin. Right, zero point fifty millimeters, and enter the sketch. Open a three D sketch. Okay. This is the last one. Let's edit this. Ninety five millimeters. Oh, not ninety five. Oh, zero point zero nine. Okay, let's edit the sketch. Go to sketch, 3D sketch, line. Let's draw a line. This point here. And edit the sketch. Go to Street Post Base Command and select this circle here. Select OK. Now we have our wires for the guitar from the different diameter values. Now, in here, let's go to sketch and 3D sketch. Select point. The point here, 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 here. Let's mark the measure this. And type one point five millimeters. And also for the rest. Now let's add the sketch. Okay. Now let's open this 3D sketch again and select the line. Let's draw a line right here to the right here point. Okay. Exit 
sketch and go to the future street mode base. For the profile, we need to set this. Okay, go to the future manager G and for the street, select sketch 19. And for the pad, select this 3D sketch. Select OK. Now we have our first complete wire. OK. Now go to the sketch, 3D sketch, and select line. OK. But before that, we need to show this sketch because we need to see these points. OK? Go to the line and select this point here. Here. And I did sketch. And for the profile, go to future manager and select sketch 20. Select OK. Now go to sketch, 3D sketch line. Let's show all the sketch in here. Okay. Now where is it? Future Swift Swift Board Base. Set this circle here. Okay. Go to Swift go to the sketch, 3D sketch line. Oops, select line, and center of the circle here. Exit the sketch, go to sweep both base, and select the circle here. That's the last wire. Okay. Let's hide these 3D sketches. And go to the view temporary axes and also hide.
Okay. Now we have our buyers. We go to isometric view and go to rebuild and save the part. Now let's add some fillets on this part. Go to fillet tool command and select fillet. Select OK. Now again, select 0 0.5 millimeters. Select OK. Let's edit this fillet command and select also this edge here. OK. Now let's add fillet right here and also add fillet right here. Okay. Let's delete this fillet. And let's say this fillet 5 command. It's selecting this edge here. It's selecting this edge here. Okay, now it will work. And also, let's set fillet right here 0 0.5 millimeters. And also here. But okay. Okay, can I here fill it? Oh let's say this say here and here. And again one millimeter fillet set on this face here. Or 0 0.8 millimeters. Okay, that looks much, much better. And let's do a fillet right here on this face. Let's select uh, filter faces and then we can only select faces, not edges. Another other and many other future, only faces. This is much easier to select what you need to select. Okay. Looks good. Our guitar is almost complete.
now we only need a name and a simple color and add some material ok go to rebuild and save this part ok go to the tools add in and add the photo works select ok then select ok appearances select auto show and select appearances color select plastic medium gloss and find uh, let's just just make this window smaller dark gray dark gray medium gloss plastic and select this feature here and select boss extrude for the future okay then select dark gray medium gloss and select this fillet and select fillet and also select this face here, this future. Okay. And also dark gray medium gloss, select this face here. This future. Okay. Now let's go to white medium plastic. Right here. Select this boss here. Okay. Here. Select this fillet. And also select this plastic feature here. And this fillet here. And this future here. Linear pattern. Okay. Now let's just do mirror. Okay. Now let's go to the rebuild and save. Now go to the organic wood and find cherry and find polish cherry and grain and select this face here and select like the body and now we have our entire body made by cherry tree looks very good very very good let's hide this window for a moment and go to rebuild and save okay now for the end we are going to add a sketch letters in here so select this space here and open sketch go to normal to view select the text from the sketch toolbar if you don't have go to insert 
tools, sketch set, sketch tools, sketch entities, and file text. In sketch entities tools, sketch entities, and text. Okay. For the curve, select this curve here, and for the text type. Antonio Now deselect use document font and width factor here and alignment select this type of alignment and for font for units type 5 mm and all for font select M and find monotype cursiva and select OK. Let's make it a little OK. Antonio. Okay, that looks good. Select OK. Now go to the futures and go to extruded cut feature. And type 0 0.05 millimeter and select OK. And now we have our name engraved in our guitar. Looks good. OK, go to the metric view, rebuild and save. Now let's do a simple rendering to see how it looks. Close this window and go to PhotoWorks and click Render. We will wait a moment. And here is our guitar. This is the end of our tutorial. Thank you and have a nice day.